According to the Center for Disease Control, as many as 20% of Americans are diagnosed with the flu each year. And of these individuals, the CDC estimates that about 200,000 actually have to receive costly hospital treatment as a result of complications from the illness. Joining us today to discuss the many things that we can do to protect ourselves and our families from getting sick is Jody Navandro from the fire department. Welcome to Studio 16. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. You brought your needles. I have my needles. <laughs> we'll get to that in okay. a second. But before we do, in general, flu season is going to be here soon. What can people do to try to stay healthy? Well, one of the first things is just stay healthy. Keep yourselves healthy, eat well, um, get plenty of rest, all of those sorts of things. But the number one thing is getting the flu vaccine. But wait, but also washing hands, that everybody harps on that. That is very important this time of year, right? Extremely important. Extremely important. It's probably the number one best prevention for getting sick, even colds as well as the flu. So frequent hand washing, not touching your eyes and your mouth until you've washed your hands. And if you don't have uh, the availability to go wash your hands in a sink, then you can use alcohol-based hand rubs, 60% um, or better, keep those in your purse, and that's also an effective way. So what about all the parents out there that are watching that have small kids, maybe old enough to teach them some skills, what can we do to help them? Well, one of the first things is if your child is ill, it's best to keep that child home. It's difficult, I know, for parents that are working and whatnot, but, um, and then if you do have a sick child, you, what you can teach them, and you can make a little game out of it, is to sneeze into their elbow. Oh, that's so great. anytime they're sneezing or coughing into the elbow. Um, disinfecting toys, if you have kids over that are playing with your kids, just taking some Lysol wipes or something like that and disinfecting after playtime. But also sneezing helpful. into your elbow, adults should be doing that too, right? All of us should be <laughs> sneezing into our I elbow. There's a lot of people that still don't do that. Yes, <laughs> right. That's so. right. And actually, the flu viruses are f travel about six feet. So if you're six feet away oh. from someone, you're usually good. But what happens is those droplets in the virus, we inhale them or we touch a surface, and then we rub our eyes mm -hmm. or other things, and we in right. in infect ourselves. Any special advice for people age 65 and older? And is it true that they're even more susceptible to the flu than um, younger people? It is true. They're a very vulnerable population. Their immune systems aren't as strong as younger, uh, younger people. So we do very much encourage um, elderly patients or persons to get the flu vaccine. Now, what about our home? Earlier you mentioned cleaning the toys with some Lysol wipes. Anything mm -hmm. else we can do to help keep our home germ-free? Again, the answer is hand washing. Mm -hmm. um, and the way we teach it is you, you wash your hands with uh, hot soapy water, warm soapy water, and you can sing the happy birthday song twice, and that should do it. So a lot of people are, they say they don't want to get a flu shot, and I always say, well, why is that? Well, because I'm afraid it might make me sick. Is that possible, or what should they know about this? It's certainly not possible with, with this uh, vaccine this year. This is all, well, not just this year. The vaccine is made um, with, with eggs, so it's grown in Chicken, an egg culture. Poultry eggs, right. Right, so the only person, persons who really would, might have a problem or can't have it are persons that are allergic to eggs. So it's dead virus, so it can't make you sick. Um, what could happen, though, it takes about two weeks for your immune system um, to be, you know, fully to immune. To build the antibodies to Right. It. So if you were to pick something up in that two-week period, you might get sick. Okay, but the vaccine itself will not make you sick. It's, it's dead virus. It's very safe. Okay. It's dead virus. Are there any other medical options for preventing the flu or for treating the flu if someone you know, unfortunately does catch the flu. We do season. have treatment now. We have antiviral drugs. They need to be started very quickly. So if you do suspect that you might have the flu, you need to see your doctor right away. Um, there's a very simple test, a swab of the nose, and the flu can be diagnosed, and then you can be started on antiviral therapy. I'm starting to see more and more people on airlines wear wearing the mask. What is, what is your take on that? Does that help? Does that help prevent the spread? I fly a lot and I don't wear a mask. Um, I, I, I don't think it's really preventative, but on, going on airplanes, I mean, you know people are touching surfaces and touching other places on their bodies. So um, I actually take Lysol wipes and sure. I wipe down the tray table and 
uh, the little thing where you yeah, the call adjust button, your, the yes, air, that the whole area. Light. Yes, I do. Yeah. That's but, great. You know, it's a good idea. But again, just back to the main things: hand washing, mm -hmm. keeping yourselves healthy mm -hmm. um, as we go into flu season, and it's a stressful time. It happens around the holidays. Right. That you know, a lot of stuff is going on in people's lives. So. You what know. about people that are afraid of needles? Is there any other alternative? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you are less than 49 years old, um, six months to 49 years old, you can actually have the flu mist, which is uh, uh, just sprayed into the nose. Huh. So you flu have that mist. option. Flu mist. Oh. So it's just a little inhale it in boom, instead boom. of getting the. Okay. Yes. Okay. And is it as effective as getting yes. the shot? All right. Yes, I but you that. have to be less than 49. Okay. Well, right now we have our producer, Carrie uh -huh. Lujan, who is joining us on set. Who is and not she, afraid of needles. She's not afraid of needles, not and she's volunteered for the shot. And I get my flu shot every year, and I'm very thankful you're here today because you're saving me a trip to the doctor's office. Yes. All right. So, Jody, as you do this, kind of walk us through how this process goes. Well, I will tell you, it's so quick that you, she won't even know that I've done this, actually. <laughs> So we've already prepared ourselves, and this just is a very small needle. It goes in the upper arm, and it's going to be s very quick, and she probably won't even know that I did it. Not even a thing. So easy. <laughs> Jody, you're I noticed, good at that. I noticed that Chris was looking oh. down at his script what? the whole time, so he, so he didn't see. So I you're so brave. <laughs> yeah. I didn't Staring look at it. It's true. I have to ask. I, like I said, I always get a flu shot, um, yes. and I did last year, and last year I got the flu. What? Why? How? Yeah, that's not cool. Last year, um, okay, so what happens is the Centers for Disease Control, they try to predict what viruses are, are most likely to be in, infected. And they try to, you know, so they'll so, so each flu shot can handle hundreds of different potential well, th viruses? Well, this one that we're using this year is qual called the quadrivalent, and there are four there are four protections on this one, four viruses that we're protecting against that are predicted to be the flu viruses of this flu season. I That's see. why you have to have one every year. It changes. I see. Changes. Because so they mutate. So last year, we didn't do a great job mm -hmm. in figuring it out. So many people did get the flu despite getting the flu shot. This year, I think we've really got it. Um, so Great. And something I will say after having the flu last year, it was horrible. I yes. couldn't get out of bed. Normally when you're sick, you lay there, you watch TV, you read right. a book. I didn't even have the energy to turn on the TV for like oh, a week. No. It was horrible. So yes. anything mm. I can do to prevent that from happening again, You've I'm experienced it firsthand. Yeah, definitely. And that is just one more quick thing if I could add. A lot of people use the word flu to mean different things. Right. What we're talking about here is influenza. Influenza virus. The influenza virus, which is a respiratory virus. Right. So you have a respiratory illness with body aches, chills, high fevers, usually starts with a little bit of a sore throat. Coughing. It's yeah. not, you not know, fun. vomiting and diarrhea. People right. say I have the stomach flu. Uh, you Jody. know, that's Jody, thank you so much. You. Great information today. And Carrie, thank you for being brave, although it's really not a big deal. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to do it later. <laughs> thank you. And remember, contracting the flu doesn't have to be inevitable. And by practicing good personal and home hygiene habits, we can significantly cut our risk. Go to smgov.net slash OEM for more information. And don't forget, by the way, to follow us on Twitter for all kinds of great information. Use the hashtag Santa Monica Weekly. We'll be right back.